When can a photographer alter a scene without creating an untruth? It's been one of the age-old ethical questions for photojournalists for a long time. Photo manipulation is nothing new. In fact, the earliest known altered photo is a shot of former U.S. President Abraham Lincoln around the year 1860. The photo features a combination of Lincoln's head and Southern politician John Calhoun's body. There are times when the desire for completing an assignment for a news editor clouds the ethical judgment for a photojournalist. There have been some instances in which photojournalists clean up their scenes for photos by moving a small object like a bottle or telling people to move out of the way, and there would be no complaints from the publishers. Some have posed their subjects in their photos, and the end result was the photojournalist being fired from their job for it. So is it ever okay to alter photos that are going to be featured in a news publication? In the past, it was perfectly acceptable to alter photos. W. Eugene Smith, a former Life magazine photographer, wrote in 1948 that photojournalism stories require a certain amount of rearranging for pictorial and editorial coherency to the pictures. Smith also stated that if the changes become too much to the point where it's too dramatic, the photographer has engaged into what is called poetic license. Photojournalists that have lost their jobs over photo manipulations today could have still been working the same job if they were living in the same era that altering was acceptable. Recently, the Associated Press fired photojournalist Narciso Contreras after he digitally removed a colleague's video camera from a photo of a Syrian opposition fighter that was taken in September of 2013 and created duplicates of background images to cover it up. The editing of the photo may seem like it's no big deal, especially since he didn't alter the image of the opposition fighter, but it fell beneath the guidelines of the AP's news values and principles, stating that AP pictures must always tell the truth. No element should be digitally added or subtracted to any photograph. But whether a photojournalist knows it or not, they are always affecting the scene to some degree. There are some people who lo absolutely love being in front of a camera, Others tend to shy away, but photojournalists are influencing scenes that they're taking pictures of. A photojournalist's continuum of control determines how much manipulation they would have during a photo shoot. Photo illustrations are an example of when the photographer has full control of the subject, arranging a location, or bringing props for a story. These shots are exaggerated, though, with seamless backgrounds and odd visual size to show the reader that the picture isn't a slice of life. A photojournalist has no control over shots with things such as hidden cameras. Hidden cameras are under constant surveillance and would be nearly impossible to manipulate. According to the National Press Photographers Association Code of Ethics, photographers should not intentionally contribute to, alter, or seek to alter or influence events. It also states that editing should maintain the integrity of the image's content and context. Photographers are not allowed to manipulate images that would mislead viewers or misrepresent subjects. In these following shots are examples of unethical photo manipulation. Some of these shots have been edited so much to the point where it's almost humorous. These pictures feature edits from darkening photos to replacing original subjects with different ones. According to the text, some photojournalists rely on the excuse of, this is the way everyone does it. But this statement sometimes fails to distinguish practices from standards. If anyone is trying to become a photojournalist or is interested in photojournalism, this ideal is not adhered in the norms of ethical decision-making. Photographers are like artists. They need to have a keen eye for detail in order to make their story. A photojournalist can't force an award-winning shot by altering their photo. It's important for a photojournalist to remember their continuum of control on when they can manipulate the setting of their photo shoot or not. It's also important to remember the photojournalism ethics and not to cave in to deadline pressures.